What's up guys? Hitting y'all back this week. Uh, I was supposed to start work this week. I didn't. <laughs> uh, that's still kind of up in the air. But anyways, I want to try to take advantage and finish off a few things we got on our own projects. Unfortunately, the S10 took a, uh, the starter took a dump, so we got to fix that. But I was going to Fargo that because we've been needing to take the uh, convertible over there to get the exhaust done. Uh, I kind of need help either picking me up or taking me over there. So I asked Juan. He is actually here. He's going to take me, uh, follow me over there to take the uh, Don to go get exhaust. So that's on the docket today. As far as the alternator goes, I didn't film or anything, but I went ahead and returned all three alternators that we bought this weekend. And the one that we had on there, we took it to Pearland Alternator. They're going to rebuild it for us. He said they were a little behind. Usually it's one or two day turnaround. But he said it might be till next week. Next week, it is what it is. Uh, for right now, we can still crank the box off and uh, move it around or whatever we need to. And we actually need to get going on uh, David's Cadillac because we got our Cadillac back and we have no space over, over here for it. So uh, we're going to get cranking on that this week. But for right now, let's try to get this car going to the exhaust shop. <laughs> Who needs a starter, man? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man, this is gonna be a tight fit right now. It should be fine. Go, go, go. Straight. Go straight. Straight back. Straight back, Guato. Hey, you. Ah, right, you got room. All right, guys, fuck it. Juan's right here on camera duty right now. He's gonna follow me. The exhaust shop's not too far. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens, dog. God damn. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna lie, man. This looks wild.
Hey, the brakes are sticking and something's scraping bad in the back. But let's talk to this muffler dude. <laughs> what happened, Mato? Man, it's scra scraping the shit out the drive shaft. It's sitting too damn low. Fuck, let me show y'all. It's on? Yeah. No, mommy, is late. I'm gonna fuck up that brand new drive shaft. Damn, y'all, look at that. I'm over here. I'm about to fuck up that new, brand new drive shaft. Either I'm gonna have to raise it up or notch the floor one or the other. All right, now I know that's cool. When we come back, I'll get some blocks and just put the, put them in the back so it won't sit as low and I'll go, low, I'll go slow. But we made it to the muffler shop, guys. Let's see what, uh, what they talking about. Well, guys, that was a bust. I pulled up. I had talked to him yesterday. He said he was busy. He ain't got time for it today. I got mad at him and cursed at him. <laughs> I did. Uh, we went next door. They said they ain't got no room till Tuesday. God damn. I guess let's try to make it back home. Get back to the house. I don't know if y'all heard me when I was talking over there. <laughs> no exhaust having ass. And we went to the exhaust shop. We actually went to two. No dice, no exhaust. Uh, the first one I got mad at. I ain't gonna lie, we didn't have the camera on. I had talked to him yesterday. He said, yeah, bring it by. Then he's like, nah, I'm too full, I can't do it. I said, he's like, go next door. I'm like, damn, what well, the fuck you then? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have got crunk. I did get kind of crunk. I said, nah, you know, I, I cursed at him. I shouldn't have. I probably should go back and apologize. Nah, hell nah, fuck him. <laughs> nah, uh, then I went next door and they said they were just busy. They won't, can't get to me till next Tuesday. I risked the car over there, now the brakes are locking up, which I guess it's better I get them fixed and then the drive shaft scraping. But that's just pick it up a little bit. That ain't even that big of an issue. Uh, pretty bummed out because I had help today to go drop it off at the muffler shop and it's looking like it's not going to have mufflers today. Uh, let's try to turn this day around and see what else we get done. Since we got fatness and you got a few more minutes, I said, man, you know what? Uh, I need to test drive this car. It runs good, but I need to go put gas in it and fill it out. So that way, in case I break down, he could pull me back. Hey, y'all oh, yeah. go follow his channel. He, he only a couple hundred away from a thousand subscribers, hey, dog. JC Glasshouse. We get 898, man. Come on, man. Help me out. <laughs> Help me out. Hey, just go shoot over there. I need you, some of y'all to go subscribe. He got some hot rides over there. Ooh, she purring. Yeah, I need to get going on this so we can bring Arlac, get David back in the driver's seat and bring the DeVille over here. Get that going. So let's do it. Let's go on the test drive. He first posted a video on the trailer. Man, I got excited. Hey, hey, that bitch ride's good. We finna put gas and try to get it up to speed. Let's go. Uh, she made it to the petrol station. We do have a gas leak that we gotta check for. But to be honest with you, it leaked that first day. I got, I, I, I uh, picked it up. So I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna be low on gas. It's a digital gauge. It says eight or something on there. So I don't know if it's true or not. So we're going to pump some petrol. And I was telling Juan, man, that motherfucker felt good. I think we just, I think it was the tires most of the issue. I, like I said, I looked at the that suspension. It ain't look bad. So right now, let me put some petrol on it. And right now I got help in case it does break down. So I want to pick it up to speed. And uh, that way we can see what, what all we got to do. Hey, it's looking good though. On my end, it's looking like it's it's about ready, mechanically. He was just, I mean, like I, he, the, oh, the mechanic who rebuilt the motor told him, hey, I tried to put it on the freeway, but the suspension was shot. It was them tires, bro. So let's pump some petrol, see what it do. I told me what's on this one too.
Hey, that was actually a successful test drive. I got it up to 60 miles an hour. I don't know what he want to do, but to me, I would leave it alone. He said he he thought the whole suspension was messed up. It's not. It was the tires. I'm going to get on the phone with him. A little bit less work for us mechanically, which is okay. We can get started on the cosmetic. Uh, we are going to help him with the bump, bumper fillers and make it, make it look a little better, but uh, cool, cool, cool. With the successful test drive, I told David, uh, it's just the shocks, really. I would just change the shocks because it got air shocks, so the level of air does work. Let me show y'all. This is actually the pump right here. This actually pumps up the air, works and everything. Now, they, they do be taking shits. I've had cars with level air, and man, it's a nightmare when they go out. But they're still good. So it pumps the air uh, shocks in the back. The only bad thing is they got a leak. They're porous already. Uh, so pretty much, if he wants to do the shocks, that's all I'm going to do suspension-wise. Uh, we do got a uh, power steering leak. And uh, I'm going to take care of that right now. I'm finna uh, wipe it down and see where it's coming from. If it's the hoses or the actual power steering pump. After the power steering pump, uh, we need a gas leak situation, man. But it hasn't been leaking. It leaked that first day I had it. Now it ain't been leaking, so I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to jack it up again and check it out. But man, shit, it's a lot less work than I thought, which is good though. Hey, I want to see him riding already. Well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna uh, give another shot today to go get the exhaust, but I do need to get it ready. Uh, this caliper was sticking, and man, it turns out to be that new one I changed, man. I thought because I only changed one. That's a new caliper. I barely did that a couple months ago. And it's sticking though. The other side is smooth. And we also either gonna have to raise it up or cut more on the floor cause the, the drive shaft is hitting. Rubbing, I showed y'all that when we pulled up to that exhaust shop. But I could, I could probably put something just to raise it up a little bit right now so I could drive it. And uh, I don't wanna cut right now too much. I'm not. The less cutting the better but if i gotta tunnel it i gotta tunnel it but let me jack this hoe up man shit i should have warranty on that motherfucker that's what i tell you about them parts now they ain't the greatest as y'all can see look it just it should be <clears throat> i'm putting the effort in it just stops that caliper sticking it's not fully stuck but it's not right it should be more free spinning than that See, I told y'all that hoe was brand new. Brand spanking new. And it ain't our bearing, cause that motherfucker's spinning free like a motherfucker. I'm gonna go see if they'll swap it. I don't even know if the calipers got warranty, but shit, I barely put that hoe. Pop the starter off real quick the, uh, off the S10. Well, it wasn't real quick, actually. Had a little couple extra brackets, but let's go ahead and get the new one. We need the S10 rolling. That mug over there, gas guzzler. Went to O'Reilly's, ended up getting uh, the starter. But man, they ain't worth the... Man, dawg, they had a trainee. His ass ain't even want to do nothing. So I just got that. I did not end up getting the uh, caliper uh, warrantied out. Because it's a whole thing. I ain't even know how to ring me up. Much less look up my account. So I'm probably going to go back. I said, man, let me, let me get out of here. Let me uh, pop this in, that way we could be rolling in the S10. And uh, we got to go get uh, springs for this car. I talked to Juan and he, he does have a whole rolling chassis uh, for a dunk. I said, does it got springs? He said, yep. I said, so we're gonna borrow the original springs because I got 96 Impala lowering springs, so it's real, real low. Uh, that'll solve our rubbing issues for right now. I don't wanna do the tunnel just yet till I figure out uh, the rims and everything, you know, the whole situation. But we need to get exhaust, so caliper and raise the ass up a little bit. Hopefully we knock that out today. And uh, it's Sunday, so I'm sh I don't think there ain't no exhaust shop. There's probably a few open. I'm not even worried about it. I'll try tomorrow, but have it ready today. All right, looks like I got it on there. Before I put the wheel on, let me make sure. Uh, <laughs> it's actually gonna work.
All right, we got action. Let me pop this wheel back on, and then uh, on to the next task. Woo, we got action, luckily. Hell yeah, someone who knew who, uh, nah, he wouldn't even know what he's doing. He just put, put effort into it. Yes, sir, let's go slap that on right quick. Alright. Alright, pump it. Pump it three times and hold it. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not you're good. Is it going down to the floor? Okay. Pump it again. Hold it. Yeah. All right, since I got that caliper done, I was like, man, let me finish the donk off, get it ready to uh, roll to the exhaust shop. Oh, fuck. I'm over here at the undisclosed location in Stink at Dana. Uh, nah, god damn. My shoes just, I just stepped in the puddle of water, dog. Well, I chose the wrong day to come over here. We had a pouring ass rain last night. Damn. How the fuck I'm gonna get the jack way back here? I need the springs off this frame. Damn, let me see if it's even worth it. Oh, it's. Ah, ah, damn. All right, so, man, that hoe got the shocks on there. I might have to bust the shocks off. I definitely need the jack back here. Damn. Fuck, this is probably not the best idea, but we already here. We need to try to get these springs. I wish it ain't had the shocks. Damn, let me lug that goddamn jack over here. My fat ass for out of breath. Who I forgot we had that ass of the 59. I gave it to Juan when I parted out that four door I had that. Whew, I can't even talk. But I dragged that beast. I didn't want to draw the S10 because I might get stuck. Fuck. Hopefully we get these bitches off. Yep, wrong fucking day. <laughs> Plus these goddamn shocks not letting the rear end go down. Let me see if I even got tools. Man, I had my impact with me, but I ended up having to use this. All right, pop that shock off. Hopefully that'll make the spring easy. Come on. And my jack taking the shit on me. Oh yeah, perfect timing for all that. <laughs> uh, it's going, it's low on fluid though. Yeah, uh, it's too goddamn wet. My jacket is not lifting how it's supposed to. And my goddamn feet is completely wet, soaked. Uh, I hate to just leave, but man, you know what? <laughs> We're going to take it like a delayed W. It ain't an L. It's going to be a delayed W. We're going to have to come back for this shit. I'll probably come back tomorrow. I need some jack stands. I need to go get a, a better jack. Uh, hate to come out here and not get them, but... Sorry, right, we'll come back tomorrow. My Really, really, my shoes is bothering the heck out of me. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we ended it. <laughs> We're going to end this video with a uh, a delayed W. <laughs> we didn't get the springs for the donk. Uh, it's not quite ready to go to the exhaust shop. We'll get them tomorrow, but I'm going to end this video here. Uh, man, this week I was kind of tied up with other things, and we didn't get too much stuff on the car front, but we got a little bit done. Uh, we dropped off that alternator. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, we did miss New Year's Day, but the box is going to get its time to shine. Uh, MLK Day is coming up, so I'm sure that weekend's going to be live. Uh, we'll get the alternator and uh, we'll have some footage of us rolling the box finally, hopefully. Uh, playing with the switches, I'm itching. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do some more work on the El Dorado. We got the bumper fillers in. I'm gonna start mocking them up uh, But stay tuned uh, This week was a little slow. It is what it is uh, Catch us on the next one
Verga. <laughs> hey, what we do for your scene, dog? They're gonna kick us out of Home Depot. We ain't even gonna go in Home Depot. Fuck it, dog. <laughs> <laughs> then I, I want that thing. I wanted an apron, but fuck it, dog. We looked at it, ain't had one. Well, I was gonna buy it for me, too. Uh, hey, I'm gonna get the security right outside. Part, what the? No, but no, stop, wey. Let's be. So, what are we doing? Pura <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah. We ain't got no chance. It's one take, take. <laughs> security park right in front where we gotta use, dog. God damn. You gonna buy me this grill, fool? Let's go. Come on, dog. It's only 379. I'm never gonna use I probably use it once. Damn, I don't think it's gonna fit, wey. It's not, man. No. It's not, not even angled, huh? We're gonna have to go inside and use the big one. Nah. They, got they don't got them right here outside. Vamos a ver. Fuck! <laughs> this grill is too damn big, y'all! <laughs> no tienen, ¿verdad? No. Oh, si. Sí. No, they got them inside. Right. This is what we're scared right now. Damn, look at big daddy. I told you. You gonna buy me this grill, fool? Huh? No, I can't hear that. Put it. Is it or no? No. Is it? No. No, it's my largo, no? It's my largo. Check. You're gonna have to go sideways. Go up with it. No. No, I don't want to scratch it. Right? Right? Where you're. Y ahora como me va a salir una rocha. Marrano me. ¿Cómo me salgo? No. ¿Qué? ¿Qué ha visto, verdad? ¿Es Yeah, it's recording. It's been recording. No, but it's straight. Yeah. Sometimes it's out of focus. Oh, hold on. Yeah, touch it. Good. All right, focus. Go on. <clears throat> on today's episode, we grilling, baby. Now let's do it again. I mean, like. <laughs> what happened, Lowe's? It almost crashed, though. We couldn't find my Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what we do for uh, what? What we do for videos, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is what the fuck? I bled for y'all, dog, for that scene. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the grill cut the shit out of me. 